Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn more about updating stacks using chain sets. So basically what are chain sets? With the help of chain sets, it allows us to preview how proposed changes to a stack might impact our running resources. Like whether our changes will delete or update any critical resources or not. So first of all, I'll try to explain this in using this particular diagram so basically this if you consider this to be an original stack and client comes with a requirement that it wants to modify the infrastructure now in that case deleting the current template or the current stack and creating another one with all the modified changes is a, a lengthy process and also it requires time as well. So instead of doing or re-adding the template to our cloud formation stack, what we can do is we can make use of this change set. So what we can do is we can make the changes in the template, go to create change set. After creating this change set, we are then able to view the change set with all the uh, changed things added over here wherein we can review those changes and on review if it satisfies the requirement then we can execute the change set and if it doesn't or if there is any problem with the update stuff then we can again go back and recreate another additional change sets which, which will satisfy our requirement. So in this case, if the resources are very critical, chain sets play a vital role by allowing us to review before actually executing the changes. So let's go to the demo. Now in this case, you can say that I have created a cloud formation, a stack wherein I have created two resources that is my instance as well as SSH security group using this particular template. Now if my client wants one more EC2 instance to balance the traffic, I will just add one more EC2 instance in the same template. Okay, so I have made it my new instance and rest of the things I'll be keeping it as it is. Control S. Now I will be going to change sets now again select the stack and you can go into the stack actions and click on create change set for current stack you can use this way also or else you have got one more way where we have got change set tab okay I can go to create change set I will be replacing it with a current template upload the file and next and I'll keep the rest of the things as it is and create sense change set now in this case for updation I'll be added the EC2 instance right create change set now it is showing the pending status and complete. So now you can see that the changes that we have done in our template are visible over here where the action is add. So the action may be remove, add, modify, any of those, right? Over here we have added a resource with logical ID of my new instance so it's showing this now that i know that it's just adding this i'm confident enough to execute the chain set i'll click on execute chain set you can see that the update has started so basically we make use of chain sets to update your stack without touching the already created resources so now you can see that my instance is already present over there yeah 
so it's running it's in the running state it is undisturbed and now my new instance will get created over here without disturbing these two previously created resources so that's it for this lecture hope you really found this video helpful and please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and at the same time press that bell icon for the recent updates thank you so much have a nice day bye, -bye.